Today, I'm going to read you a little bit longer passage from the Gospel of Matthew, Matthew chapter 27, verses 62 through 66. And I'm going to talk to you about the security that was set at the tomb of Jesus. Here we go, Matthew chapter 27, beginning at verse 62. On the next day, which followed the day of preparation, the chief priests and Pharisees gathered together to Pilate, saying, Sir, we remember while he was still alive how that deceiver said, After three days I will rise. Therefore command that the tomb be made secure until the third day, lest his disciples come by night and steal him away and say to the people, He has risen from the dead, so the last deception will be worse than the first. Pilate said to them, You have a guard. Go your way. Make it as secure as you know how. So they went and made the tomb secure, sealing the stone and setting a guard. Now, the disciples of Jesus were utterly surprised at his resurrection. But the enemies of Jesus remembered that he had promised to rise again, and they took steps to prevent any report of resurrection. The enemies of Jesus came to Pilate, and he granted their request, saying, You have a guard. But Pilate added, Make it as secure as you know how. Pilate knew that if Jesus was going to rise from the dead, <laughs> they couldn't stop it. The tomb was secured by a stone. That was a material obstacle. Those kind of stones were large, and they were set in slanted channels. The stone could not be rolled away from the inside. And if enough of the disciples worked together, they could roll away the stone, but they couldn't do it quietly. The tomb was also secured by a seal, and that was an obstacle of human authority. The seal was a rope overlapping the width of the stone covering the entrance to the tomb. On either side of the doorway, there was a glob of wax securing the rope over the stone. You could not move the rock without breaking the seal. The guards watched carefully as the stone was sealed because their careers and perhaps even their lives were at stake. The tomb was also secured by a guard, which was an obstacle of human strength. A typical Roman guard detail had four soldiers. Two watched while two rested. The soldiers had swords, shields, spears, daggers, and armor. To them, the only sacred thing at that tomb was the Roman seal. Those soldiers were not going to be tricked by trembling disciples, and they wouldn't jeopardize their lives by sleeping at their guard post. Now, notice this. Material obstacles, human authority, and human strength could not stand before the resurrected Jesus. Every one of those fell away before the power and glory of Jesus. Now, think about your life. What are you trying to make secure against the power of Jesus? Perhaps there's an area of your life that you are unwilling to yield to Jesus. Don't you see the futility of trying to make anything secure against his resurrection power. So today, whatever you're keeping from Jesus, go ahead and make it as secure as you know how. My prayer is that it'll be broken open before the power of the resurrected Jesus, that even the best we can secure things against Jesus, they can't stand against him. Understand and act on that today.